Okay guys, so today is the video of the 2000 subscribers, finally. It was a long time since I wanted to make this video, but uh, I went for holidays. So I went to Corsica and then I stayed in Florence in Italy for a couple of weeks, so I didn't have time to, to make the video, but I managed to have 2000 subscribers on the the 7th of August, so it's been almost one month. For this 2000 subscribers, I wanted to make this video, which is a Q&A video. So I will answer your questions, and I think it's a fun way to get to know each other. I was just waiting a little bit to gather more questions, but I didn't have many of them, so I was just waiting a little bit. But uh, yeah, let's start with the first question, which is a question by Siobhan from Instagram. How do you keep your voice healthy for singing? The main thing that I do to keep my voice healthy for singing is to drink a lot of water, still water, normal water. Don't do uh, other things like, I don't know, tea or coffee or milk. Those drinks are the kind of, of drinks that produce phlegm in your throat. So every time you will be like, <clears throat> <laughs> and that is not good for singing because uh, you will try to sing in a different way every time that you have uh, phlegm in your throat. Another thing that I do to keep healthy my voice is practice at home, uh, not every day but, but often. Just train your voice like, uh, I don't know, 30 minutes per day, like uh, three times a week. And that is a good way to keep your voice healthy. And another good thing that you can do to keep your voice healthy and to trick yourself to practice more at home is to have your instrument every time beside you when you are in your room or at home. So never put your instrument inside your, I don't know, your guitar case or the cover of your piano. Just keep your keyboard, your piano or your guitar beside you in a place where you can just take the guitar and uh, just start playing like I don't know I have I have the guitar here so whenever I feel like uh, I want to play something I just grab the guitar and I just start playing and this is the easiest way to trick yourself to practice some guitar and to practice some singing and to do some vocal exercises during the week um, yeah Let's go with question number two, but let's go to another place. This is one of my favorite parts to walk in Galway. It's very relaxing. Look at these boats. So with question number two, we have Naomi from Instagram. Have you done a lot of featuring with other people? I've done a few collaborations, Naomi, but, uh, and you know that I've done a couple of collaborations with you, two featurings with you on YouTube. Then I have done another one and few others with other artists, but not on YouTube. Um, for those who don't know, Naomi is a singer and she also has a YouTube channel, so you might find her YouTube channel in the description here in this video and she's a very talented singer. I would like to have more collaborations and more featurings with other artists but, but sometimes I just don't have enough time because I am working on other projects so I am trying to just put out uh, a lot of work in the music that I am doing and in the content for the YouTube channel so sometimes I just don't have enough time to make other featurings but i believe that working with other artists and musicians is really a good thing because uh, you have a way to learn other kind of workflows because sometimes when you work by yourself uh, and you do your own stuff your own music you just tend to think this way that i am doing my work i think is the best one so i will just keep doing this but when you start to work with someone else, you can also be inspired by how other people work because they are probably following another kind of workflow. So you can learn from their workflow and maybe they do some steps and some other tasks in another way that is more convenient also for you and you can learn from them. What else? Uh, there is a lot of sun here. I don't know if, if I like these spots, to be honest. It's really cool because there is the bay. 
should be fine like in few minutes more moments later i will just keep going with the questions because it's fine the sun is fine okay and number three we have the question from katia from instagram how many hours a week roughly do you spend working on youtube or on your videos i make three kind of different videos basking cover videos cover videos that i make at home and then videos where i talk and are like informational and educational videos about busking. The time that I spend on a busking cover video is uh, not that much to be honest because I just go on the street, I take different shots of one song, then I take the audio from the, the video and I edit the audio but it takes like 10 minutes to edit the audio. Then I take the video from the camera and I edit the video and it also takes like maybe 20 minutes to edit the video. Then I merge the audio in the video and that takes to be honest probably less than two three hours of work to make uh, a busking curve video so it's not really that much I don't really focus too much on the quality of my singing because I think that if you show to the viewer a product that is original and you show how your real singing is I think it is a much better way to communicate with the people out there because they can really see how you sing and, it's and it is not like having another cover video from your room where you edit everything and this brings me to the cover videos that I make at home when I record the singing part of a cover video at home I spend like three hours a day for not less than five six days a week where I make different recordings of my singing and then after that I have to choose the best parts and merge them together to make the final track of the singing and then when I have to shot the video and edit the video in Premiere it takes up to 10 hours of work so altogether it would be 10 hours of work on editing the video shot the video and uh, like five six days a week where i record my singing three hours a day so it takes a lot of work to make uh, the cover at home and it has to be well produced because i really care about the final product of the video and of the singing for the other kind of video that i make that is a uh, informational and educational video that is about busking often it takes me at least 10 up to 30 hours of work to edit the video. I spend between 10 and 30 hours on a week, so probably I work four hours a day to make 30 hours of work for a single video. For those kind of videos, I try to make them entertaining and to keep uh, a good retention of the video so every second of the video has to be kind of entertaining because I want to communicate a message in the video keep the attention of the viewer at a hundred percent so this is what I'm trying to do when I make the videos that are informational and educational about busking when I edit these videos the longest part in the process is the video editing which it can take between 10 to 20 hours and then the rest of the hours is dedicated to shoot the video on the street when I am busking and when I record my talkings and the voiceovers. And before publishing the videos where I talk about busking, um, I watched the video like 20, 30 times before publishing the video on YouTube. I wanna be sure that the message that I wanna tell is clear and that there are not weak parts in the video. So in this case, I am too much of a perfectionist. So if I start making a video like this once, I could probably work on the video like for a week or maybe yeah at least a week let me know in the comments if you like how i make my videos or what i can improve if you like the busking tips or the cover videos or the covers at home so just let me know if you like my videos let's keep going with question number four so question number four is by Jaeger one from reddit he asked oh this is easy he asked where are you from originally so I was born in Lima, in South America, in Peru. Then I moved to Italy when I was five years old. So I know very well Spanish, but I studied for my whole life Italian. So I know very well how to speak Italian and I am fluent in Italian. At the end of the day, I can speak English, Italian and Spanish. And number five, we have designer scarcity31 from reddit do you do busking for a living 
Um, so I don't do busking for a living. I am doing busking because I just have fun making some music on the street and it's really a nice thing to see people watching you and they are smiling and you just entertain them. And yeah, I mainly do busking because music is my passion and it is one of the ways that I have to make some music in front of the people other than having some gigs in the pub. And it's also fun because you make some money if people want to give you some tips. But I know some buskers that they just do busking for a living, but that's their choice. My choice is just to make busking when I have some free time. And it's also fun to make some videos about busking. So this is why I make busking. And number six, we have Er Juancho from Reddit. How long have you been busking for, man? I started busking in 2018 when I moved to Ireland. I never busked before coming to Ireland. So, so far it's been three years, right? We are 2021, apart from the lockdown period, there was almost one year, but yeah. So it's been three years now that I've been busking. Busking and the music in Ireland is one of the reasons that I decided to stay in Ireland after my first visit to the country. Because when I saw the performers on the street in Dublin, I was really amazed by the performance and I thought immediately that, oh, yes, I wanna do that as well. I wanna busk on the street and do the same thing that they are doing. So yeah, that's the reason why I decided to stay here and start busking on the street. And number seven, we have the question of AD1888 from Reddit as well. Do you do busking full time? Oh yeah, so this can be connected to question number five that it is, do you do busking for a living? I don't do busking full time, I do busking only like three days a week, especially on the weekends because you know that you can make more money that during the week. I don't do busking full time because as I said before, I don't wanna do busking for a living because that's my choice. So I just do busking only like three times a week and that's more than enough for me to make also some busking content for YouTube and just to earn some money when I think that, oh, maybe this week I wanna save some money to do this trip or to buy some stuff that I need. I just do busking because I like to make music on the street and it's really fun, guys. So you should try as well to do busking on the street. Let me know in the comments if you do busking for a living or if you wanna start doing busking just for the fun and I can help you with your questions if you want. And number eight, and this is the final question. What's the most money you've made in a day playing music like this? And this is a question from Soul364 from Reddit. So what I wanna say is guys, so I don't do busking for money. So first of all, I do busking only because they have fun, okay? Busking is very unpredictable. So if you choose to make busking for money, just think about this, that you will never know how the weather is going to be. Maybe it's going to be rainy, like a very sunny day, or it can start it can start raining in about five minutes so you just have to stop and go home literally or maybe there can be i don't know the guard that can stop you there are many variables that can happen during busking and so what was the question i forgot so you have to keep all this in mind if you're thinking to make busking for money. To answer your question, I don't remember very well the most money that I made in a single day busking, but probably there was one day when I was busking on the weekend and I made between, I, I wrote it here, 60 to 70 dollars in one day busking. And that was one of the best days that I had when I was busking in Colway. And it's not really that much to be honest because it's one of the best days. So it's not that this happened like every day. First of all, I think that you just have to enjoy the process of making music, of going on the street with your stuff, carrying your stuff, uh, pulling your hand track and with your amplifier, with your gear, with your microphone and all this stuff. I think that's the fun part of busking on the street and money is another value to busking. This is the message that I wanna, that I wanna give on this platform that I have on YouTube to everyone who is watching the videos because they like busking. Don't do busking for money. Start making busking because music is your passion and because you can have a different way to approach the music on the street. 
and just take money as an added value. So guys, these are all the questions that we had for this Q&A for the 2000 subscribers that we had on this YouTube channel. So I am so happy to have all of you here and I really appreciate the value of the community that we have on this channel. And I am very happy to answer your questions because I think this is a really a good way to give you some more about me because I only usually make videos about busking and tips but you don't really know me as how I am in a real life just chatting and talking with you like this. If you have more questions I will answer those questions in the maybe 4,000 subscribers. I just want to go from 1,000 to 2,000 then 4,000 and then 8,000 and maybe more if we can do it. So if you want to know more about me, just subscribe to the channel and uh, yeah, like this video if you enjoyed the content and I'll see you soon.